steps of our ministries all of the steps of the work of our hands in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus this day oh God let your kingdom come let your perfect will be done in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ yes master we acknowledge you this morning we acknowledge you this morning we give you all the glory we give you all the praise we give you all the honor our God our master blessed be your holy name blessed be your holy name blessed be your holy name Jesus la kabolo zetalabaya le babolo zetelabaya la kala zeketelaba Jesus you are holy Jesus you are holy Jesus you are holy blessed be your glorious name blessed be your mighty name thank you Jesus thank you blessed God Thank you, King of Glory. Wonderful is your name. Powerful is your name. Let us pray together. Blessed Father, in the name of Jesus. Here we are before you this morning. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of this day. We thank you for the gift of this week. As we come to the end of this month, Blessed Father, that which is lacking in our lives, that which you ordained for us, we receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive it in the name of the Lord. Master Jesus, we give ourselves to you this day. Order the steps of our lives. Order the steps of our lives this day. For we give ourselves unto you. Let your kingdom come in our lives. Let your perfect will be done in every area of our lives. For we surrender to you this day, O oh God. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Be thou exalted, O oh God. For you are the God of our salvation. We thank you for the benefits of this day. For the benefits of this week. And even for the benefits of this month. We thank you, blessed God. Take all the praise. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Give God a club offering as you take your seats in the name of Jesus. Even those who are watching us this morning, we welcome you to this morning meditation. And I know the blessing of God will be upon you in Jesus' name. I thank God because of this day for he is a good God. He has enabled us to be in his house. The word of God declares blessed is the man you choose and you cause him to appear before you. We don't take it as for granted. We know it is God who has enabled us this morning to be in his presence. And This morning I want us to meditate on the word of God. We are continuing with our meditation. The help of God. And I want you to know you can tap into the help of God through his mercy. You can tap into the help of God through his mercy. The mercies of God will cause his help upon your life will cause his help upon where you want to see the help of God. The mercies of God will cause you to manifest the help of God. And I want us to open in Romans chapter 9 verse 15. Romans chapter 9 verse 15. We begin from there in Jesus name as we meditate upon God this morning. The Bible says in Romans chapter 9, beginning verse 15, for he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I will have 
mercy. And I will have compassion on whoever I will have compassion. When you read that scripture, it shows you that it is not by mighty nor by power. But it is unto him that God chooses to show his mercy. That's why I want you to know, child of God, you can tap into the mercy, into the help of God through his mercy. Why? The word of God says, for he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I will have mercy. Glory be to God. I want you to know this morning, God who is the God of our salvation he is ready to show you his mercy. That's why he says, I will have mercy. We serve a God who doesn't show partiality. We serve a God who doesn't have favorism. He can show mercy unto your life. He can show mercy unto your family. He can show mercy unto the work of your hands. He is the God who chooses whom to show his mercy. Glory be to God. He is the God who chooses the power to show his mercy. He is the one who can tell today the blessing of God will be upon this and this person. Because the word of God is clear that he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whomever I will have compassion. Kiswahili pastor. Maana amuambia msa ni tamremu yeye aniremuye ama yule ambaye ni nataka nataka ujue mungu ndiyo uonyesha rehema na yeye uonyesha rehema yule ambaye anataka ni mungu ndiye uonyesha rehema na mungu ambaye uonyesha rehema yeye uonyesha rehema yule ambaye anataka glory be to god and because you are alive this morning, I want you to know God is ready to show you his mercy. God is ready to show you his mercy. That's why you are alive this morning. Anasema kwamba ni tamuremu yeye ni muremu ye. Mm-hmm. Nitamurumia yeye nimurumie nataka ujue our god is rich in mercy and our god who is rich in mercy he doesn't need those mercy we are the one who desires the mercies of god and because we desire the mercies of god i want you to know the power of his mercy will be upon you this day. Our God is rich in mercy. But he doesn't need those mercy. Mungu ni tajiri warehema. Na akiwa tajiri warehema, aitaji iyo rehema. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 to the glory of God the Bible says but God who is rich in mercy glory be to God our God is rich in mercy and even if he is rich in mercy he doesn't need mercy we are the one who desires the mercies of God he is rich in mercy to satisfy our lives. To satisfy our souls. To fill our lives with the good things. 
The Bible says in verse 4, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love, which he has loved us. Glory be to God. I want you to know, child of God, you are loved by God, who is rich in mercy. And because he is rich in mercy, his mercy will satisfy your soul this day. I want you to know our God is rich in mercy. And even if he is rich in mercy, he doesn't need mercy. We are the one who desires the mercies of God. And because we desire his mercy, may he satisfy you this morning in Jesus' precious name. Let us go back to Romans chapter 9, verse 16. The Bible says, So then, it is not of him who wills. Nataka ujue, rehema za buwana zita sababisha msaada wa mungu. Inawezekana, you are not qualified. But the masses of God will qualify you. Inawezekana kama mtu autoshi ama uwezi. Lakini kwa sababu ya rehema zake nataka ujue Mungu atakutosheleza. Maandiko inasema hivi in verse 10, not verse 10, verse 16. So then it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but God who shows mercy. May God show you mercy this day. May God have mercy upon you in Jesus' name. It is not unto him who wills. Unaeza kuwa unataka, lakini ukose uwezo. Unaweza kuwa unatamani lakini ukose uwezo. Lakini kupitia kwa rehema zake upate. Soma Kiswahili pastor. Basi kama ni hivyo. Si katika uwezo wa yule atakaye. Glory be to God. Kama mtu unaweza taka, lakini uwezo wa kuipata usiwe. Ndiyo maana mungu anaakikisha rehema zake zipo, zikutosheleze. Unaweza kuwa unataka, unataka maisha mazuri, unataka afya, unataka mafanikio, unataka baraka, Lakini ataka ujue uwezo wa kuipata Auko mikononi mwako Ndiyo mana subu ya leo Rehema za mungu zita kutosheleza Zita akikisha kile unataka Kwa mapezi yake umepata Basi kama ni hivyo Si kwa uwezo wa yule atakai Wala wa yule apigae mbio. Ya mbali wa yule aremuye, yani mungu, glory be to God. Nataka ujue mahali uwezo wako aufiki, rehema za buwana zita kufikisha. Mahali wewe autoshi, rehema za buwana zita kutosheleza. Ndiyo mana si kwa yule atakai, mbali ni kwa yule mungu aremuye. Naomba siku ya leo, rehema za buwana zika kutosheleze. Ndiyo mana sikiza mpenua, unaheza kuwa kona mbio, unaheza kuwa unataka, lakini kutaka kwako, akumanishi utakuwa nayo. Unaheza kuwa kona speed ya maisha, lakini haimanishi utafika. Ndiyo mana rehema za mungu zipo Zikufikishe maali wezo wako wezi kwa kufikisha Zikushibishe maali wezo wako wezi ukakushibisha 
Rema za Bwana ni msaada wake kwa maisha yetu. Zitasababisha msaada wa Mungu uonekane kwa maisha yetu. Glory be to God. And this morning brethren, I want you to know the mercies of God are new every morning. They are new every morning to make sure what you need for the day it is there. Lamentation chapter 3 Lamentation chapter 3 Lamentation chapter 3 The Bible says in Lamentation chapter 3 The Bible says in Lamentation chapter 3 beginning verse verse 22 verse 22 Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 Through the Lord's mercy we are not consumed glory be to God the mercies of God will preserve our lives the mercies of God will keep us from evil the mercies of God will keep us from the attacks of evil that's why the bible says verse 22 Through the Lord's mercy we are not consumed. Hallelujah. I want you to know there is no sickness there is no diseases that can succeed when the mercies of God are upon you. When the mercies of God are for you through the Lord's mercy We are not consumed because his compassion fail not. So where the mercies of God are, the compassion of God is there. So ma Kiswahili pastor. Ni huruma za Bwana kwamba atuangami. Kwa kuwa rehema zake azikomi nataka ujue hakuna uwezo utafaulu kinyume na rehema za Bwana ni rehema za Bwana atuangami 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 kwa sababu tunajua kujiweka hapana atuangami kwa sababu ya uwezo wa rehema za Bwana ndio maana Mungu wetu ni tajiri wa rehema kwa nini ili akutosheleze katika kila hali akutosheleze kiafya akutosheleze kifedha akutosheleze kiroho ndio maana yeye ni tajiri wa rehema Mungu wetu ni tajiri wa rehema ni Through the Lord's mercy we are not consumed because his compassion fails not I want you to know child of God the power of God's mercy will preserve you wherever you go The power of God's mercy will keep you from the attacks of evil Next verse They are new every morning. Glory be to God. Even this morning, the mercies of God are new. They are new to refresh you. They are new to make sure the assignments that are ahead of you this day, you fulfill them. Nataka ujua rehema za Bwana ni mpya kila asubuhi. Kwa nini mpya kila asubuhi? Ili chochote unahitaji cha siku ya leo zilete kwa mikono yako. The mercies of God they are new every morning and the Bible says great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. I want you to know child of God, the mercies of God 
are anew every morning. And I pray for you this morning. The masses of God come upon you in a new way. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. It is the masses of God that will cause what the eye has never seen. The ear has never heard. It has never found a place in the heart of a man to experience them. Hallelujah. The masses of God are anew every morning. Why? To usher you into new levels. The masses of God are new every morning. Why? To make sure fresh oil is upon your head. There are things the eye has never seen. These things you will not get them because you are smart. No. It is the masses of God that will usher you to new dimensions. That will cause you to encounter new dimensions in God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. This is what the word of God is saying. But as it is written, I has not seen. Listen to me, child of God. There are things that the eye has never seen. There are things that are hidden to the eyes of men. But the power of God's mercy will cause you to see them. There are hidden treasures that are hidden in secret places. But the masses of God will open them for you. The Bible says as it is written, the eye has never seen. Because of God's mercy, you will begin to see what man has never seen. Nisikize mpendwa, kuna mambo ambayo mwanadamu wajewai yaona. Na hayo mambo utayaona tu kwa uwezo wa rehema zake. It is God who knows where they are. It is God who understands where they are. That's why God is causing his masses to come upon you afresh. The eye has never seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man. Glory be to God. Listen to me, child of God. The reason why the masses of God are anew every morning is for you to experience God in a new level. It's for you to encounter God in a new level. Kiswahili pasa. Lakini kama vile ilivyo andikwa. Mambo ambayo jicho aliku yaona. Wala sikio aliku yasikia. Wala haya kuingia katika moyo wa mwanadamu yoyote. Sikiza, fika po pastor. Kuna mambo ambayo wanadamu ajawai yaona, awajawai yasikia, aijawai zaliwa katika mwoyo yote. Hayo ndiyo mambo ambayo mungu amekuandalia. There are new ideas of business. There are new levels in grace. There are new levels of power. There are new levels of operation. But it is only the masses of God can usher you to those levels. Glory be to God. The masses of God are new every morning. Even now they are new to refresh you, to cause you, to empower you to experience God in a new level. Glory be to God. Experience is good. But it is not good when you are dealing with God. 
Our God is a spirit. And because he's a spirit, that's why he will cause his mercy upon you. Why? To cause you to experience, to see, to encounter things that no man has ever encountered. How do you tap into this mercy? Just call upon them. Call upon the mercies of God. And when you call upon the masses of God, they will come upon you. God will empower you with this mercy that you may experience greater heights in God. Let us check one man for a few minutes that are remaining. Uh, the man who called upon the masses of God and he obtained help. He called upon the masses of God and he obtained help. Listen to me. You can call upon the masses of God upon your work, upon your family, upon your health, and as you do it, the help of God will come upon you. The man you all know, Bartimaeus, in Mark chapter 10, Mark chapter 10, in the name of Jesus. Because of time, we go to verse 46. Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10. We check this man. The man called Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus knew how to tap into the masses of God. He called upon the masses of God. In Mark chapter 10, verse 46. The Bible says, Now they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude. And then the Bible says, blind but myers. Hallelujah. It may be you are in your darkest hour. It may be you don't know what is going on with your life. You can call upon the masses of God. You see, there were so many people following Jesus. His disciples were following him. And the Bible says the blind but myers. It may be physically you are not blind. But you have found yourself in a situation you don't know what is happening. You have found your life in a situation that no one can lift you from there. I want you to know the masses of God can rescue you from that situation. There is no sickness. There is no diseases. There is no infirmity that cannot bow to the masses of God. The blind Bartimaeus, he was in a such situation. He was blind, which means he was in his own world. Alikuwa katika ulimwengu wake peke. Ebu sikiza, inawezekana asubuhi hii hakuna mtu anakuelewa. The power of God's mercy will come for your rescue in Jesus' name. Inawezekana uko katikati ya mahitaji. Haujui upite wapi. The power of God's mercy is fair for you. Listen what the Bible says. The Bible is saying in verse 46, now they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great multitude, blind but Myers, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. He was in a situation that nobody can want to be in such a situation. I wanted to know in whatsoever situation you are in, the power of God's mercy can rescue you from there. Soma kiswahili pasa. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh -huh. Alikuwa kipofu na pia muombaji. Na mekedi pekee. Ebu sikiza. 
wakati unasikia hauna mahali pa kwenda hauna mtu wa kuita you can call upon the mercies of god you can tell jesus have mercy on me have mercy on my family have mercy on my business and as you continue to tell god have mercy on me the help of god will intervene in your situation Next verse. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, when he heard, glory be to God, faith comes by hearing and hearing Jesus. May you hear his voice this morning in Jesus' name. When he heard of Jesus, ah, when he heard of Jesus. I want you to believe on the masses of God. You believe on the masses of God in your situation, in your family, in your business. And as you believe on the masses of God, Jesus will show forth. He will show forth. And when Jesus shows forth, his power will be seen. His glory will be seen. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out saying, what was he saying? Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. May the same Jesus have mercy on your life. May the same Jesus have mercy on your family. May the same Jesus have mercy on your business. The help of God be seen in every area of your life in Jesus precious name hebu sikiza mpendwa unaweza ita rehema za bwana you can call upon the mercies of god you can call upon them you can call upon them you see you are the one who understands your situation more than your friend more than you, you, the person next to you you can lift your eyes to Jesus and you tell Jesus have mercy on my life have mercy and as you continue to call upon him verse 48 then many want him to be quiet but he cried out the more son of David have mercy Hallelujah. No one understands your situation except yourself. Nobody understands the heavy of the matter except you. You are the one to lift your voice unto Jesus. The more people tell you to keep quiet, the more you are supposed to call upon Jesus. You tell Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on my life. Have mercy on my children. Have mercy on my family. And as you call upon Jesus, Jesus will stand still for you. Ah. Jesus will stand still for you. Let me just read because of time. The Bible says, verse 49, So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Hallelujah. May Jesus work for you this day. May his power go into manifestation in your life. Jesus stood his tail and he commanded, bring him here. The masses of God will arrest God for you. It will arrest his power for you. It will arrest his glory for you. It will arrest the fullness of God for you. When you know how to call, don't keep quiet in your situation. No. Don't keep quiet in your situation. Don't listen to men. Don't listen to people. You keep on calling upon the masses of God. And as you call upon the masses of God, the help of God will be seen in your life. Hallelujah. Let us stand on our feet and we lift our hands unto Jesus. Even those who are watching me, just lift your hands to Jesus. And Jesus is here 
to show you his mercy. Tell Jesus, show me your mercy. Jesus, have mercy on my life. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy on me this day, Jesus. 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 Have mercy on my life. Have mercy on my life. Even those who are watching me desire the mercies of God to come upon you this day. To come upon the work of your hands. To come upon your family in the name of Jesus. In that sickness you are in. In that bed you are lying. The mercies of God come upon you now. The masses of God come upon you. The masses of Jesus be upon your family. Be upon your children. Be upon the work of your hands. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Have mercy on us this day. Have mercy on our families. Have mercy on the fruit of our womb. We call unto you this day. Have mercy upon my listeners. Those who are watching me. Have mercy upon them in the name of the Lord. Even those who are lying in beds. Have mercy on them this morning. Let the power of your mercy lift those who are in bed. Lift those who are down. Let those who are in bed this morning in Jesus precious name. Blessed Father we honor you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Lift your hands unto God. Father in the name of Jesus. Jesus have mercy upon this dear ones this morning. Have mercy upon their lives their families, the work of their hands. Let the power of your mercy this day cause your divine help to be seen in every family, in every life, in every business, in every individual, in Jesus' precious name. The power of his mercy will be seen in your life to the glory of his name. I pray and believe Someone say amen. Pigia yes, I want you to know through God's mercy, we tap into his help. Through God's mercy, we tap into his help. And the mercies of God are anew every morning. This day, expect things that you have never seen. Expect to hear what you have ever heard. Expect signs, wonders, and miracles to accompany your life this day because of the mercies of God. Take your seat and you take out your good sacrifice you offer to God this morning. Even those who are watching me, our, 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 our information for giving is there. Uh, even uh, our account for land project is there. You can use it to give a good sacrifice to God this morning. Remember today is on Monday and we usually give a sacrifice for the week this morning so take out a sacrifice what is a sacrifice something that is beyond your ability something that will cost you you give it to god this morning and that sacrifice will speak to you in jesus name shalom let us stand and let us...